To learn about the off-grid lifestyle and to be inspired to live your dreams, click subscribe so you don't miss anything. Hit the bell notification. So, back up at the tiny house build today. And as you have seen in the last, I don't know, six or ten videos, uh, you've seen me put the walls up on the tiny house. They've all been installed as of yesterday. So if you haven't had a chance to go check out the videos, go ahead and go check them out after you watch this video in its entirety. So today, uh, it's uh, pretty cold. It's down in the low 40s. And I gotta get used to the temperatures again. My hands are cold. I know I should be wearing gloves, but then that's there's the transition to that, you know, using nails and hammers with gloves on. So just gotta get comfortable with it. Carolyn suggested that once we get the roof on, we start putting some insulation up as quickly as possible, which we already have purchased. And then maybe the next step after we get the roof and windows on insulation is go ahead and, and install the wood stove. That way we can continue the work through the winter and not get too cold and not have to go out and buy a propane heater or anything. It's not a bad idea. She's had some thoughts on this and she's been really researching the wood stove. The wood stove is high efficiency wood stove. It's 85% efficiency or 86%. It's it's really good deal. We bought it used. I told you that in one of the videos for $300. It's only been used two times according to the guy and he seemed like a really trustworthy guy. He recreated it, had all the operating instructions. And even if you look inside, I mean, all the gasket material looks brand new. So yeah, I would imagine it's only been used a couple times. He bought it and realized it wasn't big enough for him. So got it for 300 bucks, which saved us probably $500. She saw this YouTube video where we could just pour concrete there, make out a frame. That way we don't have to go buy bricks and blocks and concrete so cheap you can get it like three or four bucks so i think that's what we're going to work on as soon as i can get the roof up we're going to go and buy two by fours within a week or two to start uh, framing our trusses i know a lot of people are going to tell me you can't use two by fours but seriously you should do your research on two by fours most houses actually are built with two by fours i'm finding out you know, this is only a, a 12 foot span that I got to go through and realize six feet of that is going to be one board. Another six feet for the down angle would be the other board. You, you have bracing. City parks use two by fours for their rafters, for their pavilions. You see them all the time. And those have some pretty big spans to them sometimes. And we'll be able to have an attic, the whole thing. It'll be nice and solid. Of course, we're not to that step yet, so it's hard for people to imagine what I'm talking about. And it's not gonna be very big, it's just a three foot attic space. Then I'm gonna really take my time and get the first truss completed. And once that first truss is completed to my satisfaction, then I'll disassemble it and I will copy each board eight more times. Because I need nine trusses, so the first one will be done. And that way I'm cloning the first one. I don't have to go and measure every one. I can just draw the line, cut, draw the line, cut, and they all should be exact. So today's project is, I'm gonna do a couple things. I'm gonna install the window here, and then I'm also gonna tape the house wrap. So when we talk about the house wrap, we're talking about this, all the seams I'm gonna tape. I found out this stuff is pretty good stuff. Now, as you will see, none of our windows match. All our windows are different. We bought them at a yard sale and the Habitat for Humanity restock shop and got them really cheap. I think we ended up saving $700 on the doors and windows by finding used. Actually, one of the windows is brand new. It's still wrapped up. Uh, no, I took the wrap off. But that one right there is brand new. It was still wrapped up and had the instructions on the window, the whole thing. He bought it and didn't like it, so he didn't use it. So we have two kinds of windows. The first window is called a new construction window. And then all the other windows are called replacement windows. The difference between new construction and replacement is this seam, this, this plating right here. On new construction, you'll be able to put this window right up into the hole and just nail it or screw it, either one, you can Google it, you can use nails or screws, I'm gonna use screws, right into place. Once you have the siding on, you can't put a re new construction window in because you'd have to take all the siding off 
to do that. So they have replacement windows. So what you do, if you ever have to replace a window, is you cut this out. The window will fall out, and then you just slide this window in, and you have to screw it from the sides. I don't like replacement windows as much as uh, new construction windows, but that's what we got. Again, a lot of people are disappointed that I went vertically with the house wrap and not horizontally. Again, you should Google that because Google clearly, I mean, everything I read says you can do either or on the walls. So if you do vertical, you're supposed to give a foot, a six inches to a foot of overlap right here. If you go horizontally, you gotta give six inches. So, you know, six inches either way, it doesn't really matter. But I'm gonna tape it just for that extra security. And see, you, when you're building things, you do stupid things like this. I put a nail there, I'm gonna take that nail out because I gotta get a window in there. That's where the, this is gonna fit right up against it. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna seal around the window. That way, when I put the new construction up against it, it'll seal real nice and tight with the sealant, keeping the air out. Of course, that won't last forever, so occasionally you have to go on the inside and seal. Now, like I said, this is a used window. So I noticed right around the edge of the window, they used Tyvek tape to seal it up also. Or I say also, they may have just used Tyvek tape, I don't know. I didn't see any, any silicone or caulk or anything, so I guess they just used Tyvek tape. So I thought that was a good idea. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Okay, so I'm gonna finish up this wall with the Tyvek tape, Tyvek taping all the seams. I'm really glad the subscriber who told me about this, this is some really cool stuff. This is gonna seal up the house real nice. I like it. So thank you very much. So I got the first wall done, I got the first window in, I got the Tyvek tape up, everything's sealed up nice and tight now. I shouldn't get any leakage uh, from wind, but I'm still gonna go inside and all the little seams that I, I, I can see, I'm gonna caulk. That way I don't get any breezes coming in and it, you know I don't want any, anything to affect my heating and air conditioning. So tomorrow, I'm gonna start working on th this window here. This will go a lot quicker, I think. Well, I say that, except it's not a new construction window, it's a replacement window. So I'm just gonna set boards up on the outside here so I can just press the window up into it. And then I'm gonna shim it, because you need to get it all level and shimmed. I mean, this is level as it is, but you wanna make sure, because there's a lot of play in this window for some reason. So you wanna get that shimmed out so it's, it's squeezed down. Things are going really quickly. And this is kind of nice, you know, uh, doing this little tedious work is what I'm calling it. 
it's not these big, huge, massive things that like the whole wall just went up. Yeah, look at the progress. Yeah, you get a window in and it's like, okay, well, what's next? So, but today, you know, of course, like every day, I got to go and do my regular job. I need to quit at 11 o'clock is what it is. It's 10 o'clock now, but there's no way I could even get started on this window before I'd have to quit. There's the, the new window. You know, I, I guess what happened was they were building a house and then they just stopped building a house. I'm not sure what the deal is because they actually have the plaster that you use to put up the drywall, you know, the seams. It's dripped on there. So I, I guess they were building and decided to stop building. I don't know. It's a nice window. It works well. Slides up and down. Easy. Got two latches. It's double pane. So it raises fairly easy. So I hope I can encourage you to create something today.